can't see me, bro. Like, like, like right here, they gonna take it, man. See? This is, this is, uh, this is that, that chip. See how little that is on that dude's thumb? Man, that's small, man. That's real small. Okay? And this, and they're gonna take it. Them old bottles. They gonna have their hand out for it. Okay? Can I, uh, you know, this right here? This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. And everybody, you know, uh, should know, you know, brothers in the, that's in this truth. You know, we should pretty much know this. That should sound kind of familiar to us, man. This is uh, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I will also reject thee. To reject the knowledge, the men come out week in and week out. Through The, the Lord has men come out. He put, puts the words in our mouth, the words of prophecy spoken of in 2nd Ezra's 15. In Proverbs 1, the Lord said, I'm stretching out my hand, but you refuse it, okay? You refuse it, man. That lack, look up the word lack. Read that, uh, uh, look up the word lack. You got it? Or you just look the word lack up there, man. Right? Read that again. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I will also reject thee. The Lord said he's going to reject you, man. So when all these calamities start happening, man, like he said in Proverbs, he's going to laugh at you. And the men, the men, the men going to laugh at you. Okay? You gonna thirst in that day, you gonna hunger, uh, you know? Get out there 50, 65 and uh, start 11 and get done with that. All right, my brother, shout out. Uh, definition. Yeah, bro, hit, hit that then. Uh, hit it again. This is Hosea chapter four, verse mm -hmm. six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. What's the word lack? The state of being without. The state of being without or not having. <laughs> But not having it, man. And now you gotta remember, the scripture's always been here, right? And that book has always sit on the shelves of, of most of our Israelite people. Uh, but the Lord woke these men up, man. He woke men up and came out to teach. Okay. But like, guess what he said in Romans 11? He said the election have obtained it, and the rest were blind. In Romans 11 and 7. Okay. The election have obtained it, and the rest were blind. Okay? Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I will also reject thee. The, the, the words of the scriptures, man. Uh -huh. This is the knowledge. Uh -huh. This is the wisdom and this is the understanding, right? Just like these people walk around these masks on, there's no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in them. Because if you was, you would know that germs can go through your ears and your eyes as well. That, that, that can get to your, your system, man. You know? So it's great. Hey man, go ahead. I'll also reject thee. Mm -hmm. uh, I will also, uh, uh, Salaki, thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou, uh, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy, of thy power. Mm -hmm. I will also forget thy children. See, so you forgetting the law of the power, man. Hey, this is the scriptures, man. This is the law, man. You forgot it. You put it behind you. You believe in what Esau uh, is bringing forth. You know, you want to go sing songs and not really read the scriptures. You want to believe what, what this man is telling you, which Isaiah 9 and 16 say what? It, it, it caused, my, caused you to err, okay? Go ahead. As they were increased. Oh, God, Isaiah 65. Oh, 65. 65. Uh, I think it's 11. 65, 11. Yep. Right. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. But ye are they that forsake Yahweh, mm -hmm. that forget my name, my holy uh, mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. That prepare a table for that truth. Prepare the table for that truth, man. Okay, because martial law is getting ready to come. Okay. You know, the Lord finna have Esau roll on you people. Right, he already railheading uh, different vehicles. The Humvees and the tanks, tanks are being real headed to LA. And you see a lot of Humvees being real headed to uh, 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 Chicago. Okay, so that so the Lord is, is formulating everything, and, it, and it's getting ready to, to to go down, man. Okay, we don't have long, man. 
You know, but you got people out here, they they, they living comfortable, they living deliciously, man. You know? No, they, they living deliciously, man, they chilling. Right now, you know, everybody uptight because they got to be in the house for a minute. But you know, they'll get back out. You watch how wild they be when they get, when it's totally, when they get back out. They gonna be wild, man, you know? Go ahead. And that furnished the drink offering unto the number. Mm -hmm. Furnished that drink offered to the number, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> said, drink offering you to the number. Therefore, will I number you to the sword? We'll number you to the sword. Okay. We're gonna number you to to, to martial law. We're gonna number you to what? Uh, 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 these pestilent, the pestilence and famished conditions, man. Ultimately, it's gonna be that thermonuclear destruction. So this is gonna be before, because we know before. Read, read, read. And you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Because when I called you, ye did not answer. He's calling you by the men that are out here on the highways and byways. Right? Go ahead. When I spake, ye did not act, did not hear. When he spake, he did not hear. He's he speaking through the men. Right? Uh -huh. They hear. Uh -huh. They walk by they, and they band their head, man. Uh -huh. oh. Edification right there. Uh -huh. Edification coming. Right? They don't even consider Isaiah the first chapter. They don't have no pay no attention to, to the men. All right, go ahead. But did evil before mine eyes. Did evil before the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. You've been a thief, a murderer, a robber. Uh, you worship uh, uh, other gods. You know, so you've done all that, man. And the Lord and the Lord and the Lord sees that, okay? Go ahead. Go. And did choose that when I delighted not. Go ahead. Therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, Behold, my servants shall eat. Mm -hmm. Servants gonna eat in that day, man, when all hell break loose, man. The Lord's servants, man, he gonna find a way how to feed them. Just like when you read in 1 Kings, the 17th chapter, he found a way to feed Elijah. He brought a, a raven, brought him food day and night. You read in the fourth verse of the 17th chapter. Uh, if you go in the book of uh, the Apocrypha in the Bell of the Dragon, start at verse 28, it speaks on how Daniel had tore down the idol of the people and they wanted to kill him and he got put in the lion's den and, and Habakkuk, a man of the Lord, had, was making a meal for the people that worked in the field uh, and what? The angel, the angel took him by the head and teleported him to give the food to Daniel. Okay? So the Lord, in the time of trouble, the Lord going to find a way to feed his people, man. Uh, go ahead. But ye should be hungry. Mm -hmm. Behold, you gonna, gonna hunger. Y'all gonna be out here famine in a famine's condition, man. Out here eating your kids. So in the Jeremiah the 19th chapter, man. Y'all gonna be out here eating your babies, man. Like in the time of 70 AD. Come. Okay, go ahead. Behold, my servant shall drink. Mm -hmm. I right, we gonna drink. Okay, we gonna we gonna we gonna be drinking. We gonna eat. We gonna drink. And will it be Yaya? We don't know. It might be might be uh, uh, uh water. You know. I be a uh, uh, Mayan, Mayan, waters. Okay, go ahead. But ye shall be thirsty. You gonna thirst, man. Okay, and it's something when your body ain't had no water in a long time. It's a bad feeling you get. Like your stomach, your stomach start twisting like that when you ain't had no water in a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Behold, behold, so like you. My servant shall rejoice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be rejoicing in that day because that's the day that brings us closer to what? The kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be rejoicing in that day. Go ahead. But you should be ashamed. You're gonna be ashamed that what you went against the law, statutes, and commandments. You got you lack the knowledge of the, of the scriptures, man. And you went off your own counsel. You believed in what the devil. You believed in Esau. Uh -huh. So in that day, you gonna be you gonna be shamed in that day. All right. Go ahead. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. Mm -hmm. But ye shall cry for sorrow mm -hmm. of heart. You gonna cry for sorrow, man. And that what? Vexation of what? Vexation, it says, keep going. Oh, uh, sorrow of heart. Mm -hmm. It shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yeah, you gonna, you, gonna be, you gonna be brought low, man. It's gonna be a lot of crying in that day for you people, okay? You know, and we, and we gonna be, it's gonna be a joyous occasion, like the scriptures say, we're in that day, man. It's gonna be joy, joy for us, man. What you got? Second Timothy four and four, and they should turn their ears, uh, uh, turn their ears from the truth, and should turn into fables. See, fables, right? Fables, fables are lies, man. 
and that's what these these, these old these old people our old parents and these old ass church people old them old uncles them old bottles uh, you know they they turn them old favors man uh, you know they believe in uh cooking greens and black eyed peas and cornbread on new year's that's an old favor man and they believe in that cold heartedly man you know they they believe in them old favors man you know they believe they they be, they be really i know they be believing in the East, easter bunny they they eggs. Man doing yeah <laughs> they try to do it done you know, rain them out, man. Rain them out. You know, <laughs> but you know, in some of these, in one church, these 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 pastors want that money so bad. One church on the west side had everybody pull up in the parking lot, and the pastor was under this pavilion where he wouldn't get wet. He was preaching. His voice was coming through the AM radio. They had it on AM. That's how they want that money. But the boys out there with the buckets in the rain, you putting that money in that bucket. They, you know. That's how they bad they want it. Cause first of all, they were talking about people having a uh, PayPal, PayPal and preachers, man. Old folks don't know nothing about no PayPal. Uh, Scrap a little dollar, man. Yeah. Cash app. So hey, yeah, cash app and all that, man. Uh -huh. So hey, you giving all nah, the money and nothing. Not they, nothing they, they want them people. They want them people on site. They need it. They need, <laughs> they, they need to see that going in that bucket. It was raining and everything, man, but they still pulled it out, man. Uh -huh. Hey, man, and that right there, hey, that ain't, that ain't, that don't delight you how I was man. All them people, man. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna come out with vexation of spirit. So back in Matthew 9, in uh, 16, no man, it says, uh, neither, 17, neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the old bottle break and the wine runneth out. Like I said, so, these old people not gonna hear, they not gonna hear this doctrine, man. Uh, all right, so they gonna hear it and it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna go out the ass, in the ear, not the ass, and they gonna perish in that day, man. Uh -huh. And it says, but they put new wine into new bottles and they both are preserved. So it takes a, the Lord gives that seed, you ever, you ever look around, he's really giving that spirit, his spirit and under, of understanding and that grace to the younger men. That's why it speaks of in uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember the creator in your youth, okay? You know, why the evil days uh, 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 not draw, as I think it said draw not. I think that's what it says. I'm gonna read it right, let me find it. Make sure I'm right. It says Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, huh? When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So you see the Lord is putting that that new that new wine in them new bottles, man. He's giving it to these to the younger people, man. The younger men, you know, young lions, man. He's not giving that truth to these old people no more, man. You know? That's why you see a lot of young brothers that's coming in, they young. You know? So, hey. Um so like yeah, for you brothers, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the scripture. I got one read for y'all, man. You know? Cause hey, this this is real serious, man. You know, uh, let me find it. What is it? Luke. Uh, Luke chapter seventeen. Like yeah, it's real serious, man. This is no joke. Because what y'all doing now, a lot of men has came and did the same thing. So I gotta read these scriptures, man, because uh this is uh admonition we doing here, man. Book of Ezekiel uh, three and uh, let's see here where I was. 
17 it says son of man I have made thee watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning of me okay so he said he made us these watchmen and when you go into the scripts well you're gonna mean the ancient word of watchman was sit on the tower like like that building right there it has like a what they call a tower you can sit up in and you can look forward or you can look north, south, and east and west. Uh, all right, you can see that building right there. You can see like the, the where people are coming from all sides, right? If you're looking from every side, there's nobody can sneak up on you if you're in a building like that. Okay. So the watchmen used to sit in the towers and they would blow the trumpet a warning. They would blow trumpets for people to come to meetings or whatever. If certain trumpets would be be blown. So we out here, the tower is the camps, man. Right? So we are here to, to, to warn of the coming days and, and, and of, of, of uh, destruction that's coming. So, hey, we got to tell you brothers too, because y'all been coming, uh, y'all been studying, right? Coming out now, like second week, you got to keep going. You know, okay. it's a, you know, you know it's, when you read in Hebrews 6, it's a penalty. You know, once you, you know, it's a penalty for it. Like, especially if you start teaching, right? You, you leave. You know, I, I, I'm gonna go into the scriptures on on, uh, on on something else too, but I'm gonna read like two specific scriptures dealing with all. Of them. It says, "When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die." Back up a little. It says, uh, "When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning." No speakers to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require thine hand. So if I know it and I don't tell y'all, then it's on me, right? If y'all die, it's on me. And it says, uh, verse 19, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wicked way, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So that means if I tell y'all and y'all still gonna do some wicked shit, it ain't on me no more. Cause I told y'all what, what the Lord was gonna do. It's a, it's a admonition, which is warning. Okay? Go back to being stiff Because, and this is Luke. In, in, the, in the Gospel of Luke uh, 14, 14 and 28. It says, for which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counteth the cost whether he is sufficient to finish it. So when you build a crib, you build a house, you gotta sit down, you gotta make a plan. You gotta buy the right materials for you to succeed in building that house. Okay, so when you come into the truth, right, you fully come into it, you gotta sit down, you gotta say, okay, I got enough money, do I got enough money to get a garment? You know, if I don't, I can put fringes on something. I just want to go out there because I believe. But you gotta have, you gotta have a Bible. You gotta have. Uh, if you don't have the 1611, you gotta go get an apocryphal. These are tools that you need to build your spiritual house, right? To build that, break that foundation. Okay, so when you build a house, you need what? Hammers, nails. You need wood. You need plywood. But in the truth, you need what? You need, you need the books, right? And you need your 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 your, uh, your gear, your clothing, right? And then you need uh, you might need uh, you need other other brothers too, because that's who you learn, man. You send men to teach men, okay? And it says, uh, least happily, after he have laid the foundation, it is not able to finish it, right? So you're not able to finish it, meaning what? You start building on the crib, you got tired, and you probably seen houses in the, in the neighborhood they half finished, right? You know, you got halfway done, man. You just, man, I'm tired, man. I don't even want to do this no more. So now you got a little found, like a little half, uh, a, little, a little bit of foundation laid, and then you, you built your house. You didn't, you didn't lay the whole foundation out. You laid half the foundation and start building on half the foundation. Then you couldn't finish, right? And it says, uh, at least happily, he be, he be, he, after he have laid the foundation, he is not able to finish it. All that behold, it began to mock. Because people ride by you, be like, ah, look at, 
Look at little Scooney, he ain't even build his crib up, man. Told that nigga he ain't know how to build no house. That's where they gonna talk to you. So in the truth, when the cats come in, they come in and, and they come in the truth.